What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So today I'm going to be repairing another shark eye on robot. This one I have no clue what's wrong with it. I bought it as is. It came from a pallet bought it someone did. And we're going to figure out what's wrong with it. I'm so confused now why that blade just popped out like that. That's weird. Okay. Alright. So... Let me get this blade back in my my cutter. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that blade there before someone gets cut. So this is a refurbished model someone got. Wow, this thing got beat up in shipping. Okay. I have no idea what is wrong with this one. I don't even know what model it is. I think it advertises it. 850, I believe. Okay. Now that's out of the way. Let's see. What do we have? Ooh, this is nasty. 720. Ooh. Alright. That's weird. It's a refurbished model, so we'll see. Single plug charger. Let's see if it's got charge. It does have charge. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be a 720 video. It's a 720 underscore N, so it should be similar to a 725 N. Obviously, it is similar to an 850, 725, 750. Um, battery's good, so we're not going to mess with that, actually. Um, go ahead and check the brush roller. And I already see the issue. This is how easy it is, guys, to find the issue on these. You see that? Right there. It's deformed. In other words, it's melted. So right there, it is melted. You can see where it looks like it's been burnt with a lighter. That automatically is an indication of this going bad. What I mean is this heats up, the motor heats up, so this is like this. So the motor gets hot from this binding up or getting stuck, starts melting the case and eventually touches that piece of plastic right there. So this mo motor will actually move forward a little bit, making this belt slip and this collar for the brush motor, I mean for the brush roller, it'll slip. This one feels good because it is good. So I'm going to take it apart and check it. This one is going to be bad. So, how do we fix that? Well, quite simple. We'll take it apart piece by piece. That's been pretty gross. You want to know a great way to clean those dust bins, guys? Just a quick tip empty dishwasher. Put every piece in there but the filter, turn it on, hot, let it air dry, you're good to go. Blow the air filter out with the air compressor. All right, so let's get back to this video, sorry. All right, we're gonna take out the five screws for each wheel. Don't know if I have enough storage on my phone or not to finish this video, so I'm gonna be checking regularly. And if it pauses, it's because my uh, storage ran out. Let's go ahead and take out the battery cover. Turn the robot off. Keep your screws where you can find them. I don't have to because I have a million of them and I'm probably not gonna fix this one because it is a 720. Probably just use it for parts because people will be looking for them. I've never actually owned a 720. It's a first for me. Uh, it's pretty much just an early version of a 725 or a different store board version. That's the bad thing about this is there's really, wow, look at this. There's really no, well, that could be your issue too. I didn't even check this to see what it was doing, which I probably should have. So, napkin, 
all wrapped up in that. Oh yeah, that's it's gonna work real well. All right. So we have those off. Next, we need to get the two bottom T15, T15 in the middle, T15 up top, right and left. Drop over to our T10. Take off the bumper cover. Well, I shouldn't say bumper cover. The cover is actually the black pe the the black shiny piece in the middle that pops off. This is the bumper base. We got the five 10 millimeter Torx head T10. There are all these screws in here are Phillips T10 and T15. Number two, Phillips for the motherboard, and you're gonna need a smaller uh, tweaker-like one for the brush case. All right, those are out, pop this off. These will fall out, they slide right in, just like so. Voila. Now, apply pressure on the bottom, pull up, pull up, Bumper off. That comes off. Flip it over. Screws will fall out for you. These sensors are going to fall. They slide right back into place. Just like that. It's pretty self explanatory when you look at it and really think about it where they go. They can't go really anywhere else. Alright. Next is these Phillips heads. Where's my drill? Of course, my drill's over there. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Phillips head. One, two, three, four, All right, here's a trick. If you only need to replace this, you can bypass this by cutting the red and black on the old motor, plopping the new one in. You'll take these two screws out right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it both ways. So you'll take these two out, keep all screws separate. They're all different sizes. You're gonna take, follow this cord all the way up to the top right here. You're gonna fish it back out. Just like this you'll cut these you're gonna move all these wires over pop these up turn the receiving head to where it fit in the slot and you'll push this up and voila that came out you'll just snip the wires and you're done super quick fast simple You'll put the new one in and you'll run the wire along the top of this over to the plug. That's all you gotta do. Careful, pop all the wires to where they're not gonna get crimped from the top. You just look at the top when it goes down, make sure nothing's gonna crimp onto the wires and you're done, reassemble. Let's see if this was the problem. I could be wrong on this one because of that towel being in there. Uh, I need a different bit. I have a small one on this one. Alright. One, two, three. Those three are out. This back plate comes off, belt comes with it. You can see the plastic right here is really shiny compared to the rest it's heated up it started moving this one's still salvageable actually this one's probably not slipping very bad the air they were getting was from that that uh, napkin in the wheel but this motor was on its way out so you'll, you go ahead and take these two screws out now if your motor is good and it's just a housing like this one so this housing is bad pull it off 
spin it, wiggle it around, and make a little bit of jiggling sound, but it won't grind and it'll spin freely. So you take your motor, you'll order a new one of these, which I rarely have, just a heads up, and you'll stick it on. So there's a little pin here, which fits right in the hole. So you got screw hole, screw hole, pin. You got a pin, screw hole, screw hole. Put it in, line it up, put a new one, put the belt back on. So here's how the belt's gonna go on. We're gonna take this, we're gonna slide the belt on it, put it on the motor gear, take the receiving plate, put the shaft in, turn it around, bolt it up. Super fast, super simple. And reassemble just like before. Thanks for watching this video, guys. That is how you diagnose and repair a bad, uh, bad uh, shark ion. Um, main brush motor, sorry, lost train. Bro, it's really hot out here. Florida humidity. So that's how you replace the main brush motor in any of the sharks, the 720, 725, 850s, 750s, um, as long as it's the removable wheel ones. If it's got internal wheels, it's a lot different. Um, different screws, different bolts, different wiring, stuff like that. Similar, but different. But, Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped y'all. If uh, it did, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment if you have questions.